Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to frame one of these canvas panels. These I, I use them a lot. I'm sure a lot of you use them a lot. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do this framing at home with just a few little tools. So if you've not seen me before, my name is Yovette and I'm glad you joined me today. So let's just go see how to do this. Well, to frame one of these little canvas panels, you're just going to need a few little supplies. Um, I have a ruler. I have a needle nose pliers. I have a hammer. <laughs> I have um, a little hang hanging clip. And let's see what else. I guess that's all I need. Oh, and a pencil. You'll need a pencil. And so this is going to be so easy. I think you're going to love this. Uh, let me set this aside. The first thing you're going to need is a canvas, right? You all have a canvas, a painted canvas. And this is a board, canvas board. And the next thing you will need is a frame. Now this is the one, I like these kind of frames. Uh, it's a wood frame. And uh, these are pretty easy to use and you can buy them anywhere. Michaels or wherever. So anyway, when you have your frame, I want you to lay that face down on a table, a sturdy table. Make sure it's a sturdy table. And then take your painting, a uh, dried painting preferably. <laughs> I don't want you to put a wet painting in here. Um, and then you just drop your, uh, have I got that? Yes, that's the right way. <clears throat> you drop your painting right into your frame. And the next thing you need is, and I, I forgot to mention this, and this is the most important thing. This is called a Salco F80. This is actually called a Brad Nailer. This is just the coolest gadget. It's like a, it's like a, um, a nail, a staple gun, only it uses brads. It's especially for picture framing. I think I paid, I don't know, it was either 65, maybe $69 for this online. I bought it from the company itself. So this, if you do a lot of these uh, canvas panels, this is just a great tool to have. So anyway, so the first thing I want you to do, you got this all together now. So then to use this little tool, it's got a little hump here and I want you to just put that down probably right in the center from the top to the bottom. Just guess, guesstimate the center. You put that right down, press down, <clears throat> press down on your canvas board and all you do is click. And as you can see, this deposited a little brad right there and that will keep your painting in. You want to do one here, one on the other side, and then preferably one at the top and on the bottom. Now if this is a huge painting, you may want to do a few more. I don't like to go crazy with them because a lot of times I'll pull them out and use the frame for something else, so I, I don't go crazy with them. So anyway, that's the easiest way to do uh, to insert your canvas panel into a frame. The next thing you want to do is get your ruler out. And now uh, this is a 12 by 16. My 16 is my wide end. So I'm going to just lay this down in between here. Get a pencil and put a little mark here. Okay, and that, <clears throat> that is your center. Then you can buy these little clips very inexpensively. I don't know. I don't even know how much they are. I've had these for a long time. But uh, they're just simple little clips that you can use on a wood frame. And can you see this? It has a little dot right here in the middle. And then it's got the sawtooth on the bottom here. Well, you want to put your sawtooth down and, and that little, um, little knob there in the center, your center marking, you just put that down right here, right on this line. So just center it up, give it a push down, okay, and then just take your hammer and hammer it in. I'm not going to do this because I don't want to leave this, this uh, particular hanger in here. But anyway, that's all you do is hammer that down. And so then you have your four brads, your hanger, 
your pictures ready to hang on the wall. Now, couldn't there's nothing that could be simpler than that. <laughs> So anyway, so now let's say you don't have one of these gadgets and you don't want to invest in one. Well, I don't blame you. They're expensive and unless you're doing a lot of, of uh, framing, you might not even use it that much. So, <clears throat> excuse me, let me put that back there. So in that case, well, let me remove this bread. Now these are, this is easy to remove. With a needle nose, you just go in, pull, and then it comes right out. So it's very easy to remove should you want to do something different with your frame or your painting. So now I have that removed. Um, the other thing you can do if you don't have the bread gun is simply to, uh, I don't know, I have a box of nails here. I mean, I have a lot of them. And so and I, like this, I like this size right here. This is about the size, not these, these are too tiny. <laughs> but uh, these are about, this is about the size of my brad, as you can see, the nail, the, the two nails are about the size of my brad gun. So I'm, what I'm going to do is use those, I'm going to cover this up. And we're going to do the same thing with these little nails. Now the easiest way is to use your needle nose, at least I found this the easiest way. You may, whoop, you may have a better way. <laughs> Clumsy. Anyway, just, just clamp that down right about there. Hold it nice and tight. And whoop, a little bit lower. Okay, and then just put that approximately where you want your bread to go. And then you just tap it in. And if I tap one in on the other side, oh boy, this is going to be fun. I'm right-handed. I mean, I'm left-handed, so <laughs> I'm going to try this with my right hand. I can't hit the broad side of a barn this way. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll try it anyway. Oh, didn't work. Wait a second. Let me grab it here. There. Okay, so then you're not, I would do four of these always. Like I said, if this is a larger canvas, you do, you could do more of them. But for this painting here, this is plenty sufficient. So anyway, so then you have your brads in, your um, hanger in, and it's ready to hang on the wall. Now what could be easier than that? And if you guys would like to see me do, um, a um, stretched canvas, how I would hang a stretched canvas in my home. Uh, perhaps you can let me know in the comments and I'll do a short little video on that. That's also very easy with my method. So thank you for joining me today. I'm going to leave you with a couple of other videos to enjoy and um, I, pre I appreciate your visit. God bless. Bye-bye.